Did you know that one day your compass might point south instead of north? It sounds like science fiction, but believe it or not, it's something that's actually happened on Earth many times before. Far beneath your feet, deep within the planet, lies a vast ocean of molten iron swirling about 3,000 kilometers down. This superheated, churning metal isn't just a geological curiosity. It's the reason we have a magnetic field in the first place. As this liquid iron flows and circulates, it creates powerful electric currents, and those currents generate Earth's magnetic field. It's like a colossal, invisible force field shielding us from cosmic radiation and solar storms, warding off particles that could otherwise threaten life as we know it. The magnetic field gives us the familiar north and south poles. When you pick up a compass, the needle faithfully points north, aligning with the invisible lines of magnetic force that stretch from one pole to the other. But here's the fascinating twist. These magnetic poles aren't fixed in one place. Over the vast expanse of Earth's history, they've wandered, shifted, even swapped places entirely. That's right. The north and south magnetic poles have flipped, reversing roles not just once, but hundreds of times. Scientists call this process a geomagnetic reversal. The last full reversal happened about 780,000 years ago, at a time when early humans still shared the planet with ancient megafauna. But how do we actually know about these ancient flips? The answer lies in the rocks. When hot lava erupts and begins to cool, tiny iron-rich minerals inside the rock act like miniature compasses. They lock into alignment with Earth's magnetic field as they solidify preserving a record of which way was north at that moment in time. By examining layers of ancient volcanic rock from around the world, scientists can piece together a timeline of the planet's shifting magnetic personality, unraveling when pole reversals occurred, sometimes as frequently as every few hundred thousand years. A pole reversal, however, isn't a sudden event. It doesn't happen overnight or even over the course of a single lifetime. Instead, it's a drawn-out process that can take thousands of years. During this transition, the magnetic field grows weak and chaotic. It can split, forming multiple north and south poles at the same time, and it might even temporarily disappear in places. This turbulence is a natural part of the Earth's dynamism, but it can result in strange phenomena detectable by scientists today. One modern curiosity is the so-called South Atlantic Anomaly, a region where the magnetic field is mysteriously weak, stretching over South America and parts of the Atlantic Ocean. This weakening creates questions. Is it the early signal of a wider pole shift or just another hiccup in the planet's constantly shifting defenses? No one knows for sure, but it's a reminder that our world is always evolving, even if the changes are too slow for us to notice directly. So what would happen if the poles flipped again in our lifetime? For most forms of life on Earth, it wouldn't spell disaster. Animals that navigate using magnetic cues, such as whales, pigeons, or sea turtles, might get a little disoriented until they adjust. Technology, on the other hand, could face challenges. Satellites and electrical grids might become more vulnerable to solar storms. Astronauts heading into space would need greater protection from radiation as the weakened magnetic field lets more charged particles through. Yet, through dozens of past reversals, neither mass extinction nor ecosystem collapse have been linked to pole flips. Life, resilient and adaptable, has always survived. Earth's magnetic field is a testament to our planet's restless interior. It waxes and wanes, drifts and spins, sometimes flipping entirely. And through it all, life continues. The next time you use a compass or marvel at the shimmering northern lights, remember, you're witnessing the work of a force both ancient and ever-changing. Curious minds make the best explorers. Keep asking questions, because someday you might help unlock the secrets of Earth's next great magnetic adventure.